I'm sure you've seen the videos on YouTube that look like a whiteboard where somebody's scribbling with their hand and they, they write text and draw pictures and so on. And those are made using specific tools. Now, those types of videos can cost you $500 or more just to get a short video done for you. There are tools available and there's the subscription services available, which I've always decided not to go with because I don't want to get caught up in another subscription. And those are you know, $20, $29 a month or something like that. And, you know, so I've, I've never actually used them. But on the first on the 4th of November 2014, Easy Sketch Pro 2 was released. So I thought I'd have a look at it because it's a one time payment and the current one time payment price is just twenty nine dollars. So I thought I'd do a quick review of it and show you how it works. Now, when you load it. This is the screen you get. It's exactly the same if you run it on a PC or a Mac. The, um, the software is the same and you can have exactly the same user interface. I have to say there are a few little bugs in it, but I have heard that they're very quick to fix bugs and to produce updates for the software. And because it was only released yesterday, um, at least at the time of recording this video, I'll let them have a little bit of leeway on that. Now, across the top, you can create new projects, open, save projects. You can um, record your voice as you're doing the video. And you can add audio and music. Now, when you add audio or music, there are a number of sounds and, and, and music already in the library. Let's just try and have a look and see what that one looks like. We can test it. Okay, I don't know whether you heard that, but I'm going to select it because it's quite fun. Just click on OK. And the next items up here, we've got text, image, video, backgrounds, and this is, we can change the hand that does the drawing. Let me just bring that up. I'm, I'm on a second monitor and everything is going onto the second monitor. You can choose the type of hand that you want to use. And then there's some options. And this is a timeline, so you can basically, as you're editing, you can check things out. Um, from a specific point in time on the timeline. So let's just add some text and we'll add, some, we'll add an image as well and maybe a video because there's an interesting feature with a video that I want to show you as well. So let's add some text. We'll start off here. And when you click the text button, you get this editor. And I'm going to change the size slightly of this. You can sort of move things around. You can resize as well. And we're going to add some more text. And let's put a bit more. Now, this is just a demo video. I'm not actually going to use it for anything, but let's add that one as well. Whoops. And I'm going to right click and click on edit. I'm going to change the color of that one. I end up with a color picker box here. Let's change that color to there. And let's change this one as well. Okay, and you can see little numbers on top of these. So one, two, three. That's the order in which they're going to be drawn. Okay, I'm going to add an image as well. And let me just drag the image library up here that you get with this. And the one I'm going to use, I'm going to look down at faces. I'm going to put this one, somebody who's looks a little bit unhappy. Okay. Right, that's the first little bit. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. I'm going to just press the play. Okay, that's it so far. Let's put a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another screen to this. Okay, I'm going to go to the next screen. 
and I'm going to add an image. In fact, I'm not going to add the image just yet. Let's, uh, let's put some text. Have you tried Evernote? Let's re edit that and put a question mark at the end. Okay. Now, because we've gone onto another slide, one thing I need to do is I need to request focus. And basically, that will then take the focus of the video from the last image that was drawn on that slide over onto this one. And I'm going to put in a, an image here. And this time, I'm going to load it from my PC. And we open up the image importer. And I'm going to import this book cover. And you see that's been converted, or it was converted into a line drawing. Okay, and I'm also going to put a little pause in here so that if I click on the properties of that, I want to wait for, and I'm going to drag all these onto the screen. I'm going to wait for one second after that's been drawn before it moves on to the next slide. I'm going to create one more slide and I'm going to insert. Um, edit that and let's put that on a new line. Come on, Ninja Evernote user. And let's just put in one more little image here. And I'm going to put one more smiley face, one more face, but this time a smiley face. Let's put that one. And the other thing I can do, I can right click on that and go down to properties and specify the time it takes to draw it. So it's taking three seconds. Okay, there's a few lots more options in here. I'm just showing you very, very quickly. And let's play the video. Okay, the mistake there was that this was, let me, the, um, the focus was only coming over when we started drawing the face and not when we started drawing the text. And that's because the face is so large that when I selected it for the request focus, it was actually, I tried to select the text, but actually selected the face. So let me just select that and request the focus for that. Right, and we move the face back up and Let's try running again from the Evernote book. Play from here. Okay. Okay. And that is a little tiny demonstration of how this works. The one thing I wanted to show you though, and it's not really going to fit in with this video, but it doesn't matter. Let's go across here and I'm going to put a video in. And one of the settings you've got with video is enable sketch to live video. So what you can do is, let me see where this, right, I've just taken a little bit of a video from the Evernote website. Okay, I'm going to insert that. And you'll see what happens with the sketch to video feature, which is something I haven't seen before. This is the video. You can see it's been set as a line drawing. But let's go back and we'll run it this time. We'll run the video from this particular screen. So let's just go to here and run from there.
And what you can see, well, in fact, you may not be able to see it. Let me stop it. What you would normally get, but we've got the music in the background, so we're not getting it now, is that it went from that line drawing sketch, and as soon as the line drawing sketch had been completed, it then went into the video and shows the contents of the video. So that is a very quick demonstration of how this works. When you want to compile the finished video, just go to Publish or hit F5, and then you can save your video. And it will basically go through the video like this, recording it, and you'll end up with an MP3. Anyway, for an animation whiteboard software solution, it's $29 at the moment, and it's very, very cheap. As I said, there are a few limitations to it, but even so, you know, compared to the amount you have to pay to either get a video done for yourself or to go for one of the subscription services, you know, this is very, very reasonable, and the results aren't bad. If you're interested in this video, have a look at the link below the video. Sorry, if you're interested in the software, have a look, have a look at the link below this video and get it while it's on special because I don't know how long that $29 is going to last. And just to finish, the video has been rendered. Let me just show you it. This is in my VCR media player. Let's have a look. Okay, there's my video.